In this video, we are going to be unlocking the secrets of the candle gym phase of the hair growth cycle. And by the end of this video, you will know everything it is that you need to know to maximize your hair growth potential while minimizing the amount of shedding and balding and scalp inflammation that you may have. So if you want to get to the bottom of all of that, then make sure you keep watching. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and subscribe here to my channel and click on that bell notification so you're notified every time I post another video. If you are OG, hey boo, welcome, how you doing? And if you are new here to my channel, hey, hello, how you doing? My name is Sendal and I am a licensed cosmetologist, herbalist, scientist, and so many other things. And here on my channel, we talk about the wonders of nature and their benefits for healthy hair, skin, nail, gut health, and so many other things. And in this video, we are gonna talk about the candlegen phase of the hair growth cycle. In this video here, we talked about the androgen phase of the hair growth cycle, which is the first phase where your hair, where your hair's follicle is producing new hair growth cells. Today, we're talking about phase two. The catogen phase marks the transition from the androgen phase to the telogen phase, which is from the growing phase to the resting phase. The catogen phase is that middle ground. During this phase of the hair growth cycle, your hair's follicle is shutting down the growth process. It's shutting down its active growth process. One of the key characteristics of the catogen phase of the hair growth cycle is the hair's follicle beginning to shrink. That's what the, it's, that's what the hair's follicle is doing in the catogen phase, it's shrinking. This shrinking occurs once the lowest part of the hair shaft known as the derma papilla detaches itself, detaches itself from the hair shaft. As a result, the hair shaft is no longer anchored and nourished like it was when it was in the anogen phase, the active growing phase of the hair growth cycle. Remember, the anogen phase of the hair growth cycle lasts anywhere between two to seven years. And this is a very, very short period. As the follicle undergoes this process of separation from the derma papilla, the hair growth process slows down. The hair shaft may stop growing altogether during this phase. Now, don't worry because the candlegen phase is rather short in comparison to the anogen phase of the hair growth cycle. This phase of the hair growth cycle typically lasts anywhere between two to three weeks as opposed to two to seven years. Of, even though this is a very, very brief stage of the hair growth cycle, it is one of the most important stages of the hair growth cycle. And in a minute, we're gonna talk about how a couple of you guys' habits is keeping you stuck in this phase which is why you experience different forms of alopecia, different forms of balding, scalp inflammation, and all of that. Let's keep going. Now, not all of your hair follicles are in the candlegen phase of the hair growth cycle at one time. Thank God, because you would, everybody would be bald here. At any given time, only a very, very small percentage of the hair's follicles are even in this phase. If you are having a healthy hair growth cycle, only about, I'll put the number on the screen if I'm wrong right now, but only about 10 to 15% of your hair's follicles are even in this phase at one time. So know that. But also remember that the average person has 100,000 follicles on their scalp and every single follicle is independent. So all of your hair follicles are not gonna be in the anogen phase at the same time. They're not all gonna be in the canogen phase or the telogen phase. Every follicle is independent in a different stage of the hair growth cycle. Please be cautious of that. This is why putting products on the scalp really in general can only really hurt and hinder the hair growth cycle. Let's keep going. The catogen phase of the hair growth cycle prepares the hair's follicle for the telogen phase, which is the resting phase. Remember, the anogen phase lasts anywhere between two to seven years. So for two to seven years, your hair follicles have been growing. The catogen phase is like, hey baby, take your clothes off, take your shoes off, let's get ready to take a nap. It helps to renew the hair growth cycle by allowing the hair's follicle follicle to rest to prepare to take control and reset the anogen phase for the new hair that is already making its way through understand that if your hair once if your hair has separated from the derma papilla that is because there is already a new hair coming up attaching itself to it so don't get freaked out like oh my god my hair is shutting i'm never gonna be able to get a monkey or nothing or a gorilla no you still will be able to get a monkey if that's what you want to do but you just know that 
after that hair sheds or after that hair comes out there's going to be new hair after it only if you make sure that the environment of the scalp is safe we're in the catogen phase is where your hair gets ready to go into the telogen phase where it gets ready to shed and go to the estrogen phase make sure that you are already subscribed to my channel and that your post notifications are on because my next video is going to be about the telogen phase aka the estrogen phase in a minute i'm gonna tell you exactly how to fix it but first let me tell you how a lot of the things that you guys have been doing through the whole team now natural movement and all that stuff over the couple last couple of decades have led to most of you guys having different forms of alopecia and different forms of telogen effluvium understand that most forms of scalp disorders any any type of scalp disorders is happening around this point when your hair follicle through the hair growth cycle needs to go from the analogen phase to the telogen phase and back to the analogen phase to grow new hair it is when the follicle is disturbed that the follicle gets stuck in the canogen phase and then you end up starting to feel all of your hair follicles detach themselves from the blood supply without new hair being attached coming up so let's hop into these things a dirty scalp can directly affect the amount of time that the hair's follicle is in the catogen phase of the hair growth cycle Number one excessive sebum production the scalp naturally produces its own oil called sebum which is a waxy substance not an oily substance but a waxy substance and because it is a waxy substance produced within the sebaceous gland this is a substance that needs to be combed down the hair shaft it is not a oil like the type that you can squirt out of a bottle that's just going to run down the hair shaft absolutely not it is a waxy substance that if it isn't that if not combed down the hair shaft will clog the hair's follicle and 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 develop an overgrowth of bacteria and yeast that will in return lead to follicle disorders and follicle death by allowing an overgrowth of different bacteria and yeast that lives on the scalp naturally you end up causing different scalp disorders like seborrheic dermatitis folliculitis which we've all talked about here on my channel all right you want to make sure that you are maintaining a healthy environment because when the environment is not healthy on the follicle what you do you send a signal to the scalp's follicle so imagine this imagine the majority of your follicles are in the analgen phase the growing phase of the hair growth cycle but your hair's follicle is so dirty it's so full with an overgrowth of bacteria that it sends a signal to the hair's follicle that something is wrong and any sign of stress within the body whether it comes from an outside source or whether it comes from the follicle being full of bacteria these are all stressors right it sends a signal to the telogen it sends a signal to the hair's follicle and stress automatically triggers the follicle to go into the telogen telogen phase of the hair growth cycle right and this is what happens sometimes you get stuck in the telogen phase and you stay there sometimes you get stuck in the catogen phase and it never leaves telogen right and you go from you you stay in the telogen phase and the shedding phase and your hair growth cycle never resets because the hair's follicle is clogged and full of bacteria full of yeast and full of all of these other things this is why on my channel I'm always telling you not to grease the scalp not to put herbs and stuff on the scalp even though across social media now that people are done using hair products now they're using herbs i do not recommend doing that because the fastest way to get scalp inflammation okay the fastest way to get scalp inflammation is for you to begin to put different forms it's for you to begin to kill all of the good and bad bacteria on the scalp. When you put herbs on the scalp, they all have antimicrobial, antibacterial properties. Every last herb, right? So remember that a herb does not have respective person. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial. It's killing every piece of bacteria that it sees, good and bad, right? So by you constantly killing all of the good bacteria on your scalp, you stress the follicle. If the follicle doesn't 
doesn't have enough good bacteria is stress. So your hair will be growing for a minute by you putting herbs in it. But then five, six, seven, eight years down the line, you see balding and thinning starts to show itself up because follicle miniaturization has set in. In a video coming really soon, I'm going to talk all about follicle miniaturization so you'll learn or know a little bit more about it. But understand that even though you think that you're helping your hair by packing products on, even though a lot of your favorite celebrities have product lines and things of that nature, packing the scalp full of products is literally one of the worst things that you can do. It slows down your natural hair growth cycle and it makes you stuck in a phase that does not allow your hair's follicle to produce new hair growth cells. This is why most people after they put different um products and things like that on their scalp they'll notice their hair is growing it is not because the products are growing your hair it is because the bacteria that has been keeping the natural hair growth cycle from progressing itself that's been keeping your hair shaft from going from anogen to canogen to from anogen to catogen to telogen to estrogen and back to anogen, the, the bacteria that's been stopping it from doing that has been killed and now the natural hair growth cycle can move on as normal. It does not mean that these teas are growing your hair and that's what I want you to understand because after it sets the natural hair growth cycle back, it can take 10 or 11 years of you using it for you to kill enough good bacteria for your hair growth cycle to never reset itself again sometimes follicle miniaturization happens slowly again make sure you are subscribed here to my channel and make sure you click the bell notification so you know when I make the video of is what happens to the follicle whereas hair weathering is what happens to the hair shaft hair follicle miniaturization happens long term a long term process to the follicle and hair weathering is a long term process that happens to the hair shaft but these these two things are things that show up. These are things that I treat now all the time with all of my clients. That's why I'm so passionate about it because most of the women who are doing things now are women who are just like trying things out and maybe have been doing it for like the last five or six years. But the women who call me are women that have been doing this for 20 years and now their hair follicles are completely shutting down. Their hair shafts are completely withering and dying away and they don't know what they're doing wrong. It's because the follicle miniaturization and the hair weathering have set in at the same time. This is what happens when you're packing the scalp full of products. You throw off the imbalance and you in, you you create an imbalance within the catogen phase of your hair growth cycle. By you balancing the nutrition, by you balancing your nutrition and having a healthy balance of healthy fruits and vegetables, you end up making it easier for your body to produce the amino acids that it needs to make hair you make it easier for your body to begin to produce healthy hair skin nails and your gut health to be where it needs to be because if your gut health is together and if the inflammation within your body is lowered altogether it makes all of the natural systems flow easily the things that you could do to fix it I know you're probably waiting for me to give you like some long drawn out thing like it's so simplistic I'm telling you that the key to having healthy hair is so simplistic in a video coming really soon I'm going to show you where my hair is at this point. Oh, because it's getting so long and thick. I'm so excited. So the first thing that I want you to do is really, really look at any medical conditions that you can have that could be interfering with the different phases of your hair growth cycle. And by you regulating your diet and the things that you're eating and changing the way that you eat, you can end up causing, you can end up balancing the things that the body is missing due to the medications that you're taking. So I really, really, really encourage you to go ahead and write down all of the different medications that you're taking and all of the different side effects and the different um imbalances that it causes within the body right and then what you can do is then cycle 
then type in what fruits and vegetables you can eat to balance out the things that your body is no longer producing or the thing that the imbalance that you now have within your body from the medication that you're taking that is it and that is all you just want to make sure that you counteract what your body is no longer able to produce naturally from the medication and supplement those things remember that you are in co-creation with your body scientific brushing and scalp massages are so important by you increasing by you engaging blood circulation within your scalp and by you and by you stroking the hairs cuticle and massaging the hairs cuticle you give memory you stimulate the nerves within your scalp within the hair shaft and you really really make your hair used to being styled a lot of times people experience so much breakage and they're not able to retain length because most people are never touching their hair so the one time their hair gets touched it's like whoa girl that was different Oop, and then it break because it doesn't know what to do because you never comb it but by you having a routine of combing your hair on a regular basis doing scientific brushing you will maximize hair growth i am so freaking excited to show y'all my hair growth i was just gonna do it first before these videos but i'm like no get into it watch these videos and wonder what my hair look like now if you want something else to something external to extend your natural hair growth phase and this is not a sponsored video i have one of these myself and i use it myself whenever i go through things as it pertains to hydronitis super Tiba, right and it is llt devices and this is low level light therapy and it is so freaking amazing and what they do it uses a red light to stick stimulate the hair follicle to reset the natural hair growth cycle so basically if your hair growth cycle is stuck in canogen or telogen it'd be like hey surprise wake up and then your hair follicle wakes up and then it finishes through the hair growth cycle and then it'll set it naturally now one thing that i want most people to realize whenever you have balding and then you use a hair growth product the first thing you want to do like i used it did it work it didn't work it's been five minutes it haven't worked yet so you have to remember that a natural hair growth cycle takes anywhere between two to seven years no you don't necessarily have to wait seven years but you want to make sure that you're giving your hair's follicle time to heal kill the bacteria that's been slowing down your hair growth cycle in the first place and then you want to give it a chance to reset back to the energy phase give the body a chance to grow new cells so if you're a person who is experiencing balding and all you're doing is putting products on your scalp waiting for it to grow your hair back it's not going to happen you need to gut punch so put that on the scalp to kill the bacteria that is on the scalp shampoo it off and then make sure that you are ingesting fruits and vegetables ingesting all of the amino acids and all of the things that you need all of the nutrients that your body and your gut needs to produce healthy hair skin and nails okay Okay, so I really hope that makes sense about the catogen phase of the hair growth cycle. The catogen phase is the phase that gets the follicle prepared for the telogen phase and the estrogen phase of the hair growth cycle, which is the last phase before we go back to the energy phase so make sure that you are subscribed here to my channel with your post notifications on because in my next video we are going to be talking all about the telogen phase and the exergen phase of the hair growth cycle so 